What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at The Stable, an exciting video because we got new wheels for the scrap stick. In the last video, we left you guys at a little bit of a cliffhanger. Some of you even said you were going to dislike the video until I showed the wheels. Here they are. These are 16 by 8 D window wheels in a nice gloss black finish. And they're gonna be wrapped in a set of 225 by 50 General G Maxes. I've never used that brand before, but they were on a closeout sale, so I couldn't really resist. Once again, these were one of the cheapest wheels I could find on Amazon. You guys know we work on a tight budget here. And the Mustang is already wearing one. Back here in our Patreon quarter, I used this wheel right here to tease you guys, having it wrapped in this hairnet. Let's take a look, shall we? Ah. Yes, some of you told me that you were not a fan of black wheels, but honestly, I am really, really liking them. I mean, this car by no means is pretty, and pretty is not the plan for this car. We've already made two very pretty Mustangs, but with those, I was always a little bit scared of rock chips and door dings. This is 100% meant to be a driver's car where I will drive the wheels off of it, and I don't care if I get a rock chip or a door ding. So on top of the fact that they look good, they were very cheap compared to other traditional wheels that you see on Mustangs, like Magnum 500s, Torque Thrusters, Kragers, the N510s. I'm not gonna lie, I did reach out to a couple companies to see if they would sponsor wheels for the scraps thing but most of them told me to kick rocks. Which seems to be a common theme here, but who cares, we're gonna get it done anyway. And obviously a lot of the things that we do here on this channel would not be possible without the help of our patrons. So if you guys wanna support the channel, here's the link. With that being said, let's go get these mounted onto the tires. I think our biggest issue is gonna be if we can fit four wheels and four tires in the GTI. Huh, let's find out. Haha, it works. All right, so we're on our way to the local tire shop, but I wanted to give a shout out to Matt B once again for buying us some coffees. I bought a pack of these UCC coffees. If you guys haven't tried these, you gotta, it'll change your life. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to my boy Martin Cota for snagging himself one of these Rookie Pilot sweatshirts. Local support means a lot to me, so thank you. I guess I didn't think about the fact that it's Sunday and I'm trying to get some tires mounted. Not a lot of places are open. Of course you know that the only place that's gonna be open right now on a Sunday is a Mexican tire shop. But shout out to El Tingon for also giving us a discount on the valve stems, uh, cause I forgot they even existed. Also, huge thanks to them for being open on a Sunday cause for some reason I always wanna do things on Sundays where businesses are closed. Seems like bulldogs are the theme here. Alrighty, ladies and gents, we got the tires and the wheel combo in the car. Let's head back to the shop. Let's unload these tires. Gotta make sure to get all my greasy fingerprints on these. One thing about these wheels is that they are very heavy, but they were, they were pretty cheap and they look really good. These are looking absolutely freaking sick. It has a slight dish to it and the tires I feel are the perfect amount of chunky where it'll give it that muscle car look. We are gonna throw the wheels on all four corners of the car, but we have to reinstall all of the front suspension before we can do that. Because in the last video, I wanted to paint all of the control arms before we got the new wheels. But I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. We're gonna throw them on the back before we get started on reassembling the front suspension so we could get all four wheels on. Let's get one of these bad boys on. Did I mention that they were pretty heavy? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I think these are my favorite wheels that I have put on a Mustang. You can see right here what I meant by the tires are a bit chunky. They protrude a little bit outside of the lip of the wheel. Oh my God, guys, I am loving it. The camera really doesn't do it justice. It looks a lot better in person. That looks absolutely stunning. We might need to drop the back end a little bit. I feel like it's a little too high, but being that it has leaf springs, we're pretty limited with our options in lowering this. Speaking of leaf spring, we are rubbing on the back side of the tire, but I almost assumed something like this would happen. So that's why I got these five mil spacers to help push that wheel five millimeters away from that leaf spring. It just, it just looks mean. So right now I'm gonna do something where it'll push the wheel further into the wheel well, eliminating this massive gap that we have. Ah, but first let's get this front suspension out of the way so we can install all four wheels. All 
Alright, so passenger side suspension is now installed. There's a couple things we did different though. One, we put anti-seize on the coilover threads so we can adjust the ride height right now. And two, I put Loctite on all the threaded nuts and bolts that were around here like the ball joints and these guys over here. I set the coilovers to about half of its adjustability. That way we're at a good baseline where we can adjust it upwards or downwards. And I'm also going to throw on the fenders just so we can have a more complete look. But uh, let's uh, let's do this side. That took longer than I expected, but it is getting easier every time to install this suspension. Let's throw some fenders on this thing and let's put the wheels on. Whoa. Oh my God, almost dropped that. Oh no, I scratched the paint. She has fenders, but now she'll have wheels. It's looking good already. I realize I only have a total of like eight lug nuts. So all of these are only gonna get two for now. Oh God, that's looking so good. It's kind of cool how you could see the engine in there. Never mind, I have seven lug nuts. So I only have one on this one now, but I at minimum I wanna have two on it. So I have to scavenge the shop and see if I could find any other ones. I can't find one, and I also can't believe that one lug nut is gonna stop us from putting this car down. Okay, one trip to the store later and we've got one lug nut. Last one, last one. Let's just put her down, guys. <sighs> ready? I'm ready. All right, now for the rear. Oh. How's it look, guys? Ah, uh, yeah. The front is a tiny bit lifted, but let's see if. <laughs> All right, so we're very lifted up front, so we're gonna adjust these coilovers and drop them a bit. Also, shout out to QA1 for sending us a set of spanners so we could adjust this ride height. Considering that that was only half ride height, I can't imagine it fully extended. I think it would be way too high. So I'm going to leave two threads. So this is my first time messing with coilovers, and I realized I put the thrust washer in the wrong location. I put it in between the two lock nuts when I think it's supposed to be sitting on the spring seat itself. We'll address that later though. Right now, I just wanna see it on the the ground. All right, let's put her down. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> yeah, I'm just in awe of how good these look. The butt of the car is slightly raised, but I'm not disliking it. I was thinking of having it exactly the same level, but I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. And the fitment is damn near spot on. It just, it just looks good all around. I think I said it already, but I'll say it again. These are by far my favorite wheels I have put on a pony. It has a pretty aggressive stance. I can't stop looking at it. I don't know, the combination of the very ugly body and the super nice new wheels just gives it such a good contrast. I count that as a win in my book. We got really nice cheap wheels and a really good set of cheap tires as well. And it looks amazing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was super excited to make this one. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.